Well, here we have something from Google here, and if you're a writer, this should scare you. Google launches woke and uh, woke writing function touting inclusive language. How about that? Uh, Google has rolled out a new inclusive language function that is intended to steer its users away from what it deems to be politically incorrect words like, oh my goodness, here they come, landlord and mankind. Those are just so frightening. But I guess if you're certain people who uh, are so thin-skinned, are so triggered, that just seeing this word triggers you, you might need some a, psych a psychiatrist, really. But, continue here, uh, Google Docs introduced the woke feature this month that shows pop-up warnings to people typing in words or phrases considered to be non-inclusive, such as policeman, fireman, or housewife. The online word processor's algorithm will alert them that their chosen words may not be inclusive to all readers, and then goes a step further by suggesting alternative, more inclusive words to use. In other words, they're telling you what to think and to write. Years ago, I was part of a writing forum and I got, actually got kicked off for uh, suggesting a topic in the politics about this. No, are writers afraid of the future of being told what words to use? And I was called transphobic and banned. And now here we have Google Docs doing exactly what I was saying that they might do. Article continues here. For example, it might suggest humankind instead of the gendered mankind or police officer instead of police man. But what if you actually are saying police man and the person you're talking about is a guy. It is a police man. But I guess you can't do that. The new AI powered language feature called assistive writing has widely has been widely panned by critics who have accused the search engine of being both intrusive and preachy. Yes, they are being preachy right here. Vice, route, vice writers found that when they attempted to type in words annoyed and motherboard, those in seemingly innocuous terms were flagged for being insufficiently inclusive. They have the word mother. I'm not sure about annoyed. Uh, maybe someone in the comments can tell me what what isn't inclusive about that one? Uh, meanwhile, a transcription of an interview with former KKK leader David Duke, where he uses the N-word and says a host of other uh, things about black people, raised no flags. Go figure. Uh, Google's popular free online search editor raised issues with Martin Luther King's iconic I Have a Dream speech, suggesting that the civil rights leader should have replaced the fierce urgency of now with the intense urgency of now. Apparently fierce is now a non-inclusive word for, I don't know. Uh, the algorithm also took issue with President John F. Kennedy's use of the phrase for all mankind in his inaugural address and helpfully suggested swapping it for all humankind. And even Jesus Christ did not get a pass on, from the search engine. While the writing feature takes a swipe at the use of the word marvelous in the Sermon on the Mount and suggested that the Son of God should have used lovely instead. Uh, I'm, maybe someone can tell me why these words are flagged? I, I don't know. I'm just kind of speechless on it now. But here, a Google spokesperson said that its controversial assisted writing feature is undergoing ongoing evolution. Assisted writing uses language understanding models, which rely on millions of common phrases and sentences to automatically learn how people communicate, the representative said. This also means that they can reflect some human cognitive base biases. Our technology is always improving. And we don't yet, or may never, 
have a complete solution to identifying and mitigating all unwanted word associations and biases. Because you can't do it. There's always someone who's going to be triggered. And if you're trying to end everybody, you're not going to do it. Because if you actually appease that person, you're going to piss off a whole bunch of other people. And the people who are pissed off, you're sitting there going, oh, you just need to be inclusive. And you know what? They're going to eventually just give you the freaking middle finger and go F you. I never liked Google Docs. I tried it. Didn't like it. Part of that was, you no, know, I always had to have an internet connection, and I didn't always have an internet connection when I was writing. And so I just never, glad I don't use it. I feel vindicated from that, almost to the point where I'm going to write in, see if I can find the the uh, person and go, hey, look at this. No, they're doing what I said that was going to happen. And you thought I was just being transphobic. Oh, well, whatever. What do you think? Yes, no, don't like it, sucks, whatever. Like, subscribe. I'm on YouTube. Come on over to Rumble. And I'll see you next video.